In this video, we have the equation of an ellipse right here, and we want to get this into standard form. So the first thing that I'm going to do is separate the x's from the y's. So I get 25x squared plus 100x plus 16y squared minus 96y is equal to 156. And now what I'm going to do is factor out a 25 from the x squared. So I get this. And then I'm going to factor out a 16 from the y squared, which gives me this. So now we need to get these two terms in the form up here with the squared on the outside. And the way that we're going to do that is by completing the square. So if I rewrite this equation as 25 times x squared plus 4x plus 4, and then I account for the addition of 100, so I have to subtract 100 because I added a 4 and it's being multiplied by 25. And then I do the same thing over here, except for I add in a 9. And since I added in a 9, this is being multiplied by 16, so I have to account for that by subtracting 16 times 9, which is 144. And the right side of this equation remains the same, 156. So the reason why I did that is so that I can complete the square, because I can rewrite this as x plus 2 squared plus 16 times y minus 3 squared, which is equal to 156 plus 100 plus 144. And when we simplify this, we get 25 times x plus 2 squared plus 16 times y minus 3 squared is equal to 400. And now, and now you see that in the standard form that we have a 1 right here on the right side. So let's divide this whole thing by 400. So 25 divided by 400 is 1 over 16 times x plus 2 squared. And then 16 over 400 is 1 over 25. And this is going to equal 1. So now we can express the ellipse that we started with as x plus 2 squared over 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared over 5 squared. And this is all equal to 1. And the reason why we like this form is because it makes it easier for us to plot it.